so this is just going to show a 100% bio for Hales of Vesperia. Just wrap things up. So, first things first. We are going to start with the monster book. So, a lot of things in the monster book you're going to be able to find very easily. Some things are kind of just not around. Where's this guy from? Like, I'm not going to be able to tell you where most of these guys are from. Some of them some one time only, others are not. Most of these night guys are one time only. Pretty sure the uh, night fence or K, uh, night lamps or K are from Helior. Yeah, there we go. So we don't really need to know that information. So Sophius. This guy disappears, so I'm pretty sure he's limited. He does not disappear. I think he disappears after you finish Sophius the second time. This guy does disappear. This guy you can only fight one time, which sucks. I have to do New Game Plus in order to do this guy. Batson. This guy's limited as well. So that's all fun candy. This guy is not limited. I do kind of wish there was, uh... Descriptions for enemies, but oh well. North of Polica. I am not sure if this guy's limited or not. I'm assuming he is. I think he's fought inside of North Polica. You can fight him outside. This guy's limited. I think I should try again. That's not a dragon. I don't know what kind of a spear that is. That's a Halberg, I believe. Well, Night Halberg. Obviously. I don't know if he's limited. He might be. This guy's limited. And this guy's limited. Your answer is also limited if you find one time in the storyline in Coliseum. Again, there's the team Coliseum fight person. And there's the memory fight. You can miss all of the memory fights in Blackworth of Memories if you do not activate the side quest. So, if you do not do the, uh, Jorgen past event before you go and get, uh, Pharaoh, you can miss out on every single one of these memory. Light Lancer A, I believe you can miss him. You can definitely miss this guy. And you can miss this guy. Look at what kind of a spear that is. I believe Augusto is fought in 100 Man Melee or higher. He's fought in the Coliseum. This guy fought alongside Barbos, I believe. And I believe this guy fought outside. I think this is fought alongside Barbo's memory. He's fought in the same time as your answer. Same with this one. And same with this one. I believe you actually have to find a 
enemy group that contains him because he won't show up unless you give him a fight with the enemy group. And he's only on that island. And we have the thief here. You can't miss him. You can't really miss this guy. He fought during the arena. I don't know if this guy's miserable or not. I think, and don't quote me on it, but I think you can actually fight him in the Coliseum. This guy's miserable, I believe. This is the Coliseum only guy. Another Coliseum only guy. Can't not miss. Johan alongside Uranger and Jugum. Same with all these other person. This guy I think sticks around. Follow the world map. Can't really miss this guy, even if you don't go to Labyrinth with memories. Well, you have to, because he won't show up in the Coliseum. Oh my. October, final fight for anyone that's not Yuri or Flynn in 100 Man Melee or higher. He's basically the 100th opponent. This guy is missable, I believe. This guy's also missable. This guy's missable. I think that's a Coliseum only. This guy is also missable. So make sure you scan him during the storyline fight with it. This guy's the same way. But I think you can fight him outside. No. Can you find him outside of a uh, wicked manner of the wicked? I don't remember. I think he's also limited. There's a lot of limited dudes. He's not. He's not. This guy. I believe it's the guy you can also fight outside of Wicker of the Manor. Manor of the Wicked, ah! He's fought alongside Jaeger, so you can miss him. It's mostly the Hunting Blades, the Imperial Knights, and some of the, uh... This, this person's missable. A lot of the humans in areas are missable. Like this one. This person's missable after you complete Sophia's. She sticks around. She's fought alongside... Barbos, I, I believe after... No, I think after you finish it, she goes away. Moral map enemy. Moral map enemy. That does not look like a very comfortable outfit. And C is bought in the Coliseum. What's with all these weird named enemies named after the monks? I believe C disappears. He does disappear. Ah yes, these guys. All of these guys will disappear on ya. Yes, Duke is wholly missable. How can you... How... How... You know... You can wholly miss Duke, right?
And of course, he's missable if you cannot get all the foul arms. Luckily, you can get all the foul arms, so you can always fight him whenever. This one is missable. Uh, is any memory. Nice to know that you can steal a HP boosting item from him. That is a beefy looking sword though. Barbos with his giant whatever you want to call that claymore? I don't know. Because a memory. So the thing about Soggy here is you can miss. A, you can miss him easily because phase one, which is before his skill joins, is separate entry for phase two. So you need to uh, max lens him twice. Because for nor. Holika, Heracles, and Parker. So as you can see, he does start to change between Port Nor and Nor to Polica. He gets that arm. And then when you get a final soggy, he gets really he gets his arm upgrade, it looks like. Who upgrades his arm? Who knows? Now we got Jaeger here. Three different Jaeger fights. And the Jaeger memory. Now we got... Gout. Gauss. And droid. Now they have unique skills. If you do not skill this during a fight with them, you will permanently miss them. If you steal at least one of them, you can craft the other so it's not permanently missable. And there's the Coliseum fight. Then we got Clint. Clint with his beastly sword. I can call to see him fight, which is half as strong. I can a team fight, which is like very strong. I can have the memory. And we got Tyson. I can for some reason he has his hood off. Coliseum fight, I don't know why. That's the only time he has his hook off. Okay, we got Nan! The bank sees Hera! With this giant... Whatever you want to call that. And then there's the Coliseum. A little bit stronger, but not too much stronger. Okay, this is the... You see, that this is the second Colosseum fight. This is only if you have Carol. Or if you're using Carol, rather. And then the team fight. And then the memory fight. Then we got Dawn. Make sure that you... Do this before Dawn murders you. And then a memory fight. And then Yuri, you get a fight. Ask me 100 opponent if you're using Flint. And that is a massive increase in stats. And then we got F Scal. Save deal as with Soggy. You want to use uh, Max Mirror on her in both phases. Team battle. 
decided to switch for her rod, apparently. I don't know if that's dependent on what you have clicked on characters, or if they just come in with that stuff. King Kaboom! It's not Carol, what are you talking about? You've got King Kaboom if Carol is not in your party during, uh, a team fight. And to fight any of the playable characters, you have to not be using them in your current party. So if you want to fight, like, Carol, Yuri, Eskel, you have to fight them by not using them in your current party. Got some Reed, huh? Got some Raven. And then we have Swan. And then we've got Team Battle, which you can only fight this one if you are not using Raven in your party. It's basically the same fight as the memory, but with less HP. Huh. And then we've got Gugif here, which is very bouncy. That is a lot of stats. Then we got Flynn. Same deal as with Yuri. If you're using Yuri, you'll fight Flynn as the 100th opponent. Then there's the Ornium fight. Which, in order to get this, you have to be him. If you lose to him, you don't get this, I believe. Or maybe that's just a secret mission. Coliseum. Painbound. We got Patty. And, of course, all the Agcourt and Boku's fights. So we have Luigi here, and we got Mario here. So, yeah. Make sure that you use Magic Lens on everything. Every single thing. Also, they become gold when you fight them at the Coliseum. But not during the team battle. Then we get LeBlanc. This is the only time we see LeBlanc fight. And then we have Mr. Kratos here. I'm sorry, Traitor to Heaven. He's missable, of course. I actually don't know if you can fight him. Trainer to have, but no. No, you cannot fight him in uh, Arena if you do not beat Labyrinth of Memories. Okay, we have Bar Pose, I mean, Killer of Heroes. A lot more HP, a little bit more hack. And here we have Gabe Bowie. I mean, Gauss. I mean, Time Traveler. And then we have... Whatever her name was. I don't even remember her name. So, these three right here, Killer Heroes, Time Traveler, and... Queen of Darkness only show up in Team Arena, as you can see, and in the 200 Man Melee. So, they can't be missed in the 200 Man. Gold of Beast! I do not think. Well, no, there is a couple you can miss. So, we got the Bum Wiggle, the Rat Wiggle, which is Kind of disgusting. And shiny. Like, how can these things work? It's 
So you can only, as you can see, sometimes you can only fight enemies at certain times of the game. This guy will only show up at night. So it says, but you never know. Wolf, you can always fight him. He's always around. I believe this one might be missable. I am not sure. This one is missable, and it's one of the ones I did miss. Once you complete Rago's Manson, everything there is missable. And they're all named like Black Wolf, Black Rhinoceros, Black Bat. Warble! He's always around. Crit his is on the world map. You'll always be able to fight him. We have the loot pice. He's always around. You can only fight this guy at the four aisles at night. I think this is the only way you can get Leo things. I could be wrong. And then we have the Saber Tooth here. He's a common enemy in the final dungeon. This guy is always around. This one shows up during the fight with Brutal, so he's different from this one, by far. Rhino is always there. Black Rhino can't be missed, so don't miss him. Yet's Rhino, always there. Higher Gill. Ayurgilo? Apparently, yeah, he's only there when it's sunny. Wild Boar. And this replaces the Ayurgilo when it's windy. The Hippo replaces the EX Rhino when it's nighttime. Like these around Yamantu as well. And these guys will replace the rhinoceros outside of Palor at night. Pretty sure it doesn't matter what time of day you go into the necropolis, these guys are always here. And as you can see from the necropolis, that's really high level stuff. Rabio with soul blades for him. And Hanai. Rabio. I believe this guy's missable. This guy is missable if you beat him up while max cleansing him. Okay, there's this person that shows up later on what the weather can change, such so as make it rainy, fight outside Kafua Noor, or near Amiga Hill, and he'll show up. Okay, there's the memory fight, he's easy to beat. You know, Saros. Monico. I hate these horse guys because they're annoying to fight. Yes, unicorn. This one is missable if you don't. He's basically a boss, but not a boss, so. I don't know why he's called Egg Bear. I think this guy's also missable. Yeah, why is he called Egg Bear? And I'm pretty sure that's not Square Soldier. But yes, you have to fight this guy during the daytime. Because he is replaced by the next enemy when it's snowy.
These rare enemies are very slow, so you can easily outmaneuver them. That's a lot of hack though. That is an awful lot of stats. He appears during daytime only. When it's not daytime and it's windy, you get a great hearse gunk. Boss of a mean hill. Looks like something from Resident Evil. Fight only fought alongside. Well, actually, I think you might be able to fight this thing normally. The very first side up who you're gonna run across in the game. He all the side up who memories will only appear once you have beat him. Every gigant in the game, so if he doesn't appear, you know what's wrong. And of course, Bellius. Bellius is unique in that she can spawn a double in a normal fight. You want to max a cleansing because it's the only time you get to it. Max blends it before you kill it, or before you light all the torches. And of course we got Brutal here. Versus. And of course we get Rapine. I don't think there's any missable birds. I believe you can fight every bird in the game. So while there's missable humans and beasts, pretty sure you cannot miss any of these birds. I believe this is replaced by... Another thing. It's just dark purple. It's just black. Even blacker. Purple and black. And then like, red and black. And that's a lot of stats. Can we get this silly little bird? Oh no, I'm wrong. You can miss the black bat. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or not. Drill beak. Yeah, that's a that's a drill beak. Only so so during daytime. No difference between those two at all. I don't get stats. Run your back. Ah uh, yes, this one only appears if it's cloudy, foggy, I don't know why it's called Popper, looks like a banner. 
And I guess he only shows up at night? This one definitely does. This is outside of, uh... Hamor and Ospio and all that. The back. Only so so rat not I yeah night replaces the fire rat. Then we got all the miniature rats. All from the necropolis. That is a very dark bat. Also bats aren't burned. You could call this like flying pipe. It's not a bird. That. That is also not a bird. Yeah, that's uh. That's an act speak, alright. And I believe you can miss the air sick one. Second star burns. What? Well, the... well, I... Oh, yeah, it is a chicken. It's a chicken frog. This is a very ugly looking bird. Play beak. Ah yes, the boss of Way Sand. Then we get all the different bats. If you don't let Heracles split, you cannot get these. So there's all the memory bites. And then we have Mr. Herobronk. Giant bird. It has like a hook on the end of its tail. No... No claws, though. What, just, just stab things with its tail? We got this silly looking... ...bang. Got a mushroom. Is it holding a mushroom with, a, with its tail? Like a hermit. Crab thing. I don't know what that is, like a pine cone? This guy only shows up at night. Reference to Jukas from Hales of Destiny. Got a giant poison mushroom only shows up at night. As well. So this guy replaces the balloon ghost when it's rainy. And then we got all the weird plant things. This only soaks up when it's windy. Hmm. And he soaks up when it's rainy. And when it's not rainy, and it's nighttime, we get him instead. There's no spirit. Then we got balloons. These guys just don't make any sense. 
We got Minixer Ookie Pookie. And then we have like a Heartless. And a Fire Heartless. Different stats. Only he will replace the Fire Spirit when it's nighttime. Crystal Spirit. Then we got Core Spirit. This guy is actually very annoying because of his high defense, as well as all the resists he has. It's just an anchor. A possessed anchor. And then we have these silly dudes. The incredible has dummies. Gentle Max. Only appears at night. All of these other guys appear at night. And replace the gentle man. Some gentle replica. Is this when it's raining? But it happens at night. I guess there's the pain battle with all of them. I don't know what they're supposed to be referencing. Actually, I believe that's supposed to be here. If that's Luke. And you. Got a whole bunch of pails of the abyss references. And then there's all of these jerks that only show up with specific weather. For instance, he shows up uh when it's windy. And of course, there's all of the uh team battles. Makes it a lot easier to farm all of the uh, items. Only well, shows up at night, and you'll only find one, which is Agravane. This guy does not require any special condition, you just gotta finish uh, Braxton, and he'll show up all throughout the dungeon. Yeah. Say it's a gore at night, you'll probably run into this guy a lot the first time you go through. And this is around where you go to Reloy's Hollows. When it's windy, he will just pop up. And you'll pretty much run into this guy whenever you go to Nam Karaga. It's almost always night there. I don't think there's any miserable magic types. I could be wrong. I might be forgetting something. But so far, it does not appear that any of the magic types are miserable. Does this thing have eyes on all sides? Is that a thing that Roper skew? Just half eyes high curse wanderer. You're not a Roper. You're just you're just skeleton work. With a really big freaking sword. The little war from inside. And there's the Breaker Memory. And then we got Gatebreaker. Totally not the same as, you know, the Outbreaker. Same with the Nightbreaker. And then we got Uma. You gotta hack it, the guy. He's got a problem. You also got a hand to him, he's missing a head. So there's this jerk. 
bears a lot of different, uh, targets on them. What level was Oma? 60? So yeah, you got the central head, the left head, the right head, the body, the left tail, and the right tail. And as you can see, they all have stats. And they can all attack you at once. I don't know why they decided to make this guy so dumb right. Alright, on to the plants, we're halfway done with the monsters. Well, this week we're gonna fill a fool. Fill a folia. And yet this guy's stronger. Okay. Fill helia. Uh huh. It's like a Venus flytrap. And then a dead one. And then we get all the ropers. Were the ropers not part of the magic category? Why are they a plant type? Then we got these kernels. He only appears at night. Oh. So I guess this guy replaces that guy at night time. Then we got the ice person. Nothing too difficult. The dead person. And then a giant plant. That's probably gonna eat you. Like this guy. And then giant mushroom basically shows up around softest at night. It doesn't have to be rainy. It could be just night time. And then we got all these other ropers. They're just Coloration. All appears to be necropolis. Then there's these guys in the sands of the war. Only during the daytime. When it's rainy, this one comes out. Aww. Then we just have a mushroom. So, we got the Manjagora, and then we have the Air Sick one. I believe the Air Sick one is missable. And we have this Bang. Only appears at night, so you will probably run into this on your first visit. And then we have like a cheerleader. And this one only shows up when it's snowing. And this one replaces the uh, Manjagora when it's rainy. So it's like a Meg Manjagora. Weird. Aquatics. I don't think there's any missable aquatics. He's it says it shows up when it's snowy, but it shows up at night time. So, I don't know what the game's trying to tell you there. Sometimes the game doesn't even know where things spawn. Also, we have a Blastoise. Which Pokemon is this? And we have like a weird alligator pearl. Crap man. It has 
eyebrows. This thing has like swords, hands, and spit stuff at you. And then we got the recoloration, so just go for those real quick. These guys are actually rough because they're max defense, so you have to hit them with physicals. And we got frogs! Don't you like silly frogs? I would not want to be anywhere near this frog. Mega Man would cry. I'm not sure I get the reference. And this one appears only when it's snowing. How does it have pearls? Where does it come from? Again, Mega Man will cry. Well, those, those, those don't look very sharp. White gold. Merfolk. You want to make, make me smart enough to use weapons? This one just has a freaking anchor. Gateheim only? That one has anchor too. And then the electrofist becomes this hammer head sark thing. That's kind of disgusting looking. When you look at the eyes. I guess these guys only show up at... Snow? Giga Fizz! More Sprites of Anchor! Again, there's this Flamer. An octopus. This will spawn during the gate time where the giant pentacle octopus squid thing would be. And we have this guy. And this guy. So, there's, just like with Soggy and es Escal, there are two different versions of it. One is with Carol only, the other is when you actually buy it. Spider. So, what kind of spider is this, guys? How many of you know your spiders? Because. I've never seen a spiker like that. And we got a green spiker. Which, you know... And also just reminds me of no spiker. Swarpion! Why is he named Swarpion? He doesn't have a sword. He's just Scorpion. And we got this dude. The wheel. The fancy here. He only appears during the daytime. He does get replaced when it's foggy, I think. Bugs. Who likes bugs? I see nothing about a saw here. But I do see silver. So he only appears during the night outside of... I don't remember where Sagrick Peninsula is. I think that's outside Gongris. Maybe? If this is what replaces the... Giant Beat Black Bank is. Is that the one that I mean? Yes. 
Frog Meal will spawn when it's raining. No bee! All the bees, don't you like bees? I believe this bee is miserable. I don't like bees. Bees are jerks. They stink you and it hurts. And yeah, if he stabs you, you probably would die. And yeah, if he stabs you, you will probably die. Why does a bee need a bow? Better question, why does a bee need a gun? And a grasshopper. I don't think that's what a grasshopper looks like. That's a praying mantis, not a grasshopper. And that does look like something that would be called a death mantis. I don't know why it's called Nugget Hopper, but you know. Flora Mantis, yes. It is a flower. It is big. And it is a mantis and looks like one of those enemies from uh, the desert. These guys are like MacGyver fangs. Or aliens. Half-Gaeth and Scorpion. Hermit Drill. Because the memory, which is kind of, you know, there's no difference between the memories and the originals, just more stats. I think this is what the Chimera Sister of Rare are based off of. These jerks. Sans Gore. Does it have eyes on the back? Is that also a mouth on the tail? And now, inorganic. Yeah, it's a rock. And then we have a golem. And a gear golem. Looks like a Mega Man enemy. And then we have a hammer golem. Also reminds me of like a Mega Man enemy. All the golems are Mega Man enemies. And then we have... This guy who looks like a freaking wrestler. And all of these mimic... All of these mimics are missable. So if you don't scan them, you are screwed. How do mimics even work? Are they just some gloop inside the chest? Are the chest themselves? Just, I don't know. Mimics are weird. They don't make sense biologically. And then we have robots. Murder. Blade Murder. Which, you know... I don't see any blades. I guess it's just... You're dead, but perfectly dead. This is Cell's kind of murder. But he would never be guilty. I believe this one is missable. Both of these guys are missable. And there's Omega. 
we can never forget Omega and Dark Omega. And Emo Omega. And Bloody Omega. And White Omega. And Bronze Omega? It's like a downgrade. And then we have a whole bunch of reskins. I don't know why he has a gentleman's tie. I don't know why he has a Leo thing. I also... Why does he have a great Leo thing? He's not lying. Why does he have horns? Does it look like he has horns? Mega Goliath. The eyes move in a weird way when you're rotating the model. Now we got Poseidon. Same deal as Goliath, it seems. You know, that's a very peculiar, peculiar, weird thing. Yeah, let's just let's just leave it. Let's just leave it back. I'm just gonna leave it back. Sword dancer. Look out, dance. You can steal a weapon from it. And steal a weapon from all of them, I think. And then we have, like, an Evangelion thing. And then we got these guys. More reskins. And, lastly, scales! Got some lizard man. A strong lizard. A heavy ball. And dragon gramps. You can miss him, obviously, if you don't unlock this. And hell seems apt. Basilisk. We all know what basilisk is. Black basilisk. A spinosaurus. Got a cockatrice. That only appears during the day. By day, cockatrice. By night, a passing cockatrice. Look how passionate it is. Great cockatrice. And then we got Chroma. Big old bird dragon thing. I am pretty sure that it's not a scale. Also, why are some of these scales and not, you know, birds? Like, this is, this is not a scale. This is a bird. It's a griffin. Namco, do you not know what a griffin is? Because this Kingdom Hearts monster. Who's not the original at all. So that is it for all of the monster book. Now we go to the collector's book. So, items 
you should not be missing any of these items. Monsters? How many monsters are in the game? 150? 50? 11? 263? 23? 59? 93 4 25 564 or 464 yeah there's a lot it's like 500 or something there is a Lot of so, sell again. All of these, you can buy most of them all like a soft. Most of them in all the softs. Yes. But otherwise, you're gonna find most of them from like chess. It's not hard to complete the uh, collector's book. Items. Apparently, Clint has a special gel you can steal. It's, it tells you where it's available at, but I don't think it tells you everywhere because there's so many places. And you know, it's limited in a uh, room. Selling things off real quick. And then we're gonna get him a fun scaffold. Oh, let me tell you how much fun the next section is gonna be of this. It, it has a lot of stuff, let me tell you. So yeah, I never really used a lot of these items, like a Surf Ball, Nectar Ball, never really used them. Gene Ball, Pure Ball, never used them. Never had a reason to. It seems like the red items are better items. Lot of flowers. It's gonna be all goodbye, which I guess could be useful, but at the same time it doesn't really help. Hourglass you can only use once. Lasts for like five seconds. A mat. Some pen. Got a pen. Got a berry. And now for the fun bank, which is 480 weapons. A lot of these things you are going to be crafting, especially plus ones and plus twos. Now, you can, as you can see, get them from winning, stealing, buying. But yeah, there is a lot of stuff in this game. And it, they really did need to go this far with how many items they have in the game. Like...
Oh yeah, it only needs more stuff. We need plus twos and threes and fours and, you know, all the way up to 20. And then you have variations like plus one A, plus one alpha and plus one beta. Like, why? And you want to get everything because everything has unique skills on them too, so... If you really, really want to get every ability for every character, you're going to be here a while. Because there's a lot of stuff that you have to buy. Yay, we're at the Axis now, I believe. No, we're, we're still on Sword. I mean, I could probably go a little faster.
This weapon right here is one of a few missable weapons. If you do not do the Drake side quest, you cannot get this weapon. Same with the Cryonic. Uh, you can miss the Cryonic if you do not do all of the uh, don't go to Ospio first. Before you go to Kakua Noor. I believe those are the only two weapons you can miss to be a higher game. Except this weapon. This only apparently appears early in the game. It stops being viable after later in the game. We're getting there, there's just a lot of weapons and not really a whole lot for me to say about the weapons. So, so far, Blue Crystal Rod and Bryonic are the only weapons you can miss. Uh, the C Catechus and the upcoming Celestial Star weapons. You can only get from 100 Mayan Melee. If you get the plus one persons of them without getting the abilities from the original, you're gonna lose the original abilities. There's the Celestial Star.
god, Rippy, you have too many plus ones to plus twos. I think Rippy's the one with the most plus twos. Probably the most upgrades, period, for weapons. You know, it looks like it's just those weapons. Myonic BC Crystal. Both are permanently missable. Endless Heart. You can miss if you don't buy it. Catechist and Celestial Star. You, you can't miss them permanently, but you can miss the ability. So, everything else you can pretty much buy, or craft, or buy. Or do side quests for more. Like for the joke weapons. Pretty sure you cannot miss them. There, gun for weapons. Same deal here, uh, none of the sub weapons. You cannot miss any of them. You just have to craft them all. You cannot buy them, you cannot find them, you cannot steal them. Actually, I think you can, uh, win a couple of them. I think that might be from Secret Missing. Let's say it's the Knuckle Duster that you get from Barbos. It doesn't say here for some reason, I don't know why.
All right. Helmets. You cannot miss any of the helmets. Helmets, armors, accessories. You can't miss them. So the only things you can miss are those weapons and valuables. The valuables are the ones that are going to get you. Because there's so many valuables in the game. It's kind of the same that we don't get to see these on the characters themselves. But at the same time, I understand why they don't do that. Because that would be a lot of modeling. Worst place to look at these because the music's putting me to sleep. <laughs> Foggy, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. There are times where I regret doing 100% videos, but you know, I need to be done. It's part of the Let's Play. I'm sure there are people who would prefer me to not talk during these uh, videos, but you know what? Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. When you think about it, how do people actually walk around with these armors? Like, wouldn't these armors be, like, really freaking heavy or something? Is the armor in general really heavy to walk around in? I love how body paints and armor. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit more.
just, you know, you only see Jugan wearing coats, right? I don't know why coats are her armor when, you know... Yeah... Here we go! Accessories! I like how the wards are triangles and charms are full circles. That's really the only difference between the designs. This is a missable accessory. I said there were no missable accessories. This can't be missed. If you don't unlock 200 man arena. It's also missable. This is also missable. So you got three missable accessories. I don't think there's any more than that. I could be wrong. But I do believe it's only three. I don't know if that... No, that's not missable. Yeah, it's only those three accessories. Then we got all the food. You cannot miss any of the food. It's impossible, so you will get all the food. Just by playing the game normally. Because enemies will drop food like no more. 
Plus, you know, you just buy food. I pretty much ignore the food system, but it can be very, very powerful. I say I ignored it, but I didn't really ignore it. Because it's required to do 100%? Of course it is. Everything's required for 100%, don't you know? really miss them, so I'm gonna go through these real quick. You will find every single one of these for the most part. So if you want to read those memos in the past video, I'm just gonna make this quick. How do you get Hippograph? How does that work? Also, when you think about it, it's a little more like that. They just paint the stuff off of enemies. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna paint your your beak and your tail and your horns and stuff. I mean, that's what people actually do, but yikes, you know? And, of course, these. Hilariously enough, the collector's book can't be missable. So, yeah. But, yeah, a lot of these you are just... ...gonna have to be careful on. You're gonna get a lot of these throughout the game, no matter what. So you can't miss a lot of these, but there's also a lot you can miss. Right now we're in the stuff that you cannot.
can miss this if you do not do the Drake side quest. So, be very careful about that one. This one you can miss if you do not do... If you do not unlock Labyrinth of Memories. And I do believe you can miss this if you don't do the, uh, Pass Jorgen at Ferris Craig. You can miss this if you do not fall down the pits three times in Baskin... Baskin, sorry. You can miss this if you do not rest at Mantake before leaving to Jorgen or the Gasser. And if you miss this, you cannot do a secret mission to open it, meaning you miss a pipe. And you can miss this if you don't unlock the Labyrinth of Memories. And then the rest of these, I believe, are all attachments. I don't think you can miss any of the attachments of the game. Like, half of this list is attachments. So yeah, honestly, a lot less that you can miss than I thought. It's more enemies than anything that's gonna get you. The Imperial Crest will get you. Those three weapons will get you. So yeah. There we go! That's all of the monster book and all of the collector's book. So the world map, another part of the 100% process because you're gonna have to visit all the towns in the game for one of my scales high. And I think that's part of the Drake side quest. I don't know if the dungeons count. Just giving you a quick look at where everything is. You'll find everything here normally outside of a couple optional areas. Air crinades you might not find that easily. And then there's all of this, which is required to do repeat dog map side quest. And I don't know if it's required for any titles off the top of my head. But 
this is required. Well, it is required for a high school for repeat. So, what am I talking about? It also is required for some of the key items. And some of these areas you will not be able to reach until you get the key item for Baum and land in specific areas. Because there's very special areas that only he can land in. There we go. That's the map out the way, so that's all three of those out the way. So all that's left now, let's take a look at all the recipes, shall we? So this is all the recipes you're gonna find in the game. Most of these are gonna be found by finding the one yourself. But some of these are gonna require you to cook specific recipes with specific characters. For example, we get the uh, rice ball. I believe you need Yuri to cook the sandwich, I believe it is. And then or to get the omelette rice, you need Carol to cook the uh, beef bowl. Things like that. a lot of this. Well, those are the only ways you're gonna get new recipes. One yourself. Well, I say that, but there's a couple side quests that will give you recipes as well. Go. That's all of that. So, the next thing, we got all these skills. So, we got all these skills. As you can see, there's a lot of different skills. A lot of these skills. is carried over between characters, some of whom are unique. I'm not gonna go through every single skill. You will find all of these on weapons and sub-weapons. Well, I say all of them, but some of them you're gonna have to side quest relay things for. For example, for Yuri, you will have to, well, for everyone, you will have to do 200 man melee to get a standalone skill. And Yuri's the only one that can learn the Baskin skill. So finally, to wrap things up, Hyles. So there's a lot of Hyles. A lot of these you get just by playing the game. This one requires you to drink side quest. This one requires a side quest that basically spans the entire game 
And you can miss this one. You can miss anything related to Drake as well. This one, you get for doing all the secret missions of the game. And then resting at Ornian. This one is a pain at... Uh... Nam Kabaka. This one you get at... Yamanju. You get this one by going back to... Sophia's. Before you fight the final boss. This one you get for... Finishing the, uh... One for Seth side quest. All of the One for Seth side quest titles are missable. If you fail it, you cannot renew it until the next new game, so be careful. This is part of the Dark Enforcer side quest. This is part of the Statue side quest. You get this for being 200 man melee. You get this by hawking the guy at the entrance of Nantaraga after opening a 6% or more treasure chest in the world. You get this one for being 255,000 hard or unknown. This one you get for complete in Arc 1 without using the item. And then using the map or any of those items of the world map afterwards. This is part of the swimsuit side quest in Jorgen. This is your... Wait a minute. Oh! This is the 100 man melee reward. This is the 200 man melee reward. All of the 200 man melee rewards outfits do give you access to an ultra dark, so keep that in mind. Get this for doing repeat snowboarding. And this is by combining, so you're gonna have to go to Congress to get this one after getting the Aloha Boy and True Knight. And then you get these by leveling up. The combo ones you get by... This is for a 10 hit combo. 3 hit, 100 hit, 150. And everyone gets these by doing 100 or more fail strikes. And then I'll okay, get all of the uh, DLC outfits. You can't miss the DLC outfits. They come with Definitive Edition, so... And now we will go to Estelle. So Estelle is from the, uh, story. You can get this by going back to Heliord later in the game and, um... Give it her items for that. From the story, story... You get this one by doing the... Wire side quest in Dongris. You get this in Arnian after healing... Uh... At least... 4 million or 40 million HP with a skill. This is part of the Drake side quest, so you can miss this. This is from Yumanzu. This one is by this in every location of the game, and sleeping at the King of Fenter. This is from Masquerade All Recipes. You get this from Halor. Get this from completing the collector's book and then going to Halor. This is um from Nam Kabaga. 
this is from Who Hunts a Man? Who Hunts a Man Melee? You get this by staying in Yuri's room after the final dungeon arrives. You get this by talking to Drake and Arnie, and so you can miss this. This is the reward for 100 man melee with Estelle. This is from the swimsuit side quest in Yaman in Yaman suit. In uh Jorgen, your 200 man melee reward. Repeat Snow Morgan. Level ups. 100 fail strikes. And then DLC. And now we will go to repeat. So, here, have a nice image. I have a nice image. Alright, so. Repeat. These three are from Story. You get this for completing the dog map side quest. You get this by going to Arnian after the final dungeon arrives. You get this by starting the dog map side quest. You get this by clearing 200 Mea Melee. You do this by going to Heliord after defeating Estelle. You get this by clearing 200 Mea Melee. Wait a minute, is that correct? No. You get this by getting the Huff Hound and then sleeping at the King of Adventurers twice. This is from, uh, Yamanitsu. This is from Jorgen. Wait. Yes. This is from the Hot Springs. I do believe. No, the Hemic Dive Dog is from Jorgen. This is from, um,. Yamanitsu. Repeat Snow Morgan. Level up. Scale 100 or more times. 100 or more fail strikes. And then DLC. Right, so now we got Rita over here. Is Rita the next one? Rita is not the next one. The next one we're going to go to is everyone's favorite kid, Carol. So, these four are from Story. This is from uh, Heliord later in the game. You get, well, I gotta show it off. This is from doing the way her side quest in Congress. This is from doing, uh, Nam Kvaga. Master all the recipes, you get that. You get this from Yamanzu. You get this from... Where do you get this one from? Cave Mock after the final dungeon arrives. This is from clearing 200 Mea Melee. This is for doing all of the warehouses. This is by completing the Monster Book. You get this by sleeping in Dongress Inn. And eventually you'll get. This is after the Dawn is dead. You get this by. You speak. Who Ricks before killing any 
Gigantu, and then after killing all of them, you speak to them. Well, the swimsuit side quest in Jorgen. Complete 200 man melee. And then you get a whole bunch of, uh... You get this one by doing, uh... Hack Team Savage without Carol. Repeat Snowboarding. More if you want to. And then you get a whole bunch of, uh... Hyrule Fusions. For some reason, I really like the frog for Carol, and I don't know why. There's just a lot of them. It's all, uh, level ups. You get this one for having Carol get stunned a hundred more times. A hundred more famous strikes. Now, I know, I know, all the fuse and stuff, you probably want to know what you need to get. You just gotta get a whole bunch of attachments and other hiles. And by other hiles, I mean hiles that have costumes, so. Now, next, should be. Rita! So, I got by Rita, which is right here. So, level up. This is from the uh, Wayward minigame. This is by doing the Spirit Magic side quest. Wonder Yourself side quest. This is from Nea Kabaga. Sleep at Yuri's room after the final dungeon arrives. Win the guys game three times in a row at Capital and Noor. Beat 200 Man Melee. This is from Nam Kabaga. This is from the Swimsuit side quest. Or not the Swimsuit one, the uh, Hot uh, Yaman Suit. This is the Swimsuit one. This is from 200 Man Melee. Repeat Snow Morgan. Level up, 100 or more fatal strikes, and then DLC. And with that, next is Raven. So here we have Raven. So these are level ups. Learn a hundred and more skills with him and then enter Arnian. You can do this by doing the rebuild the communion side quest. You can miss this. So be very careful. And if you miss this, you'll miss another tile. This is from the Wait her side quest. Clear to Man Melee. Go to Halor. And then go to Halor and speak to Sicily to meet him at Kafu Anor. Play Hail Sadrasp me three times or more at Nam Kabaga. You can go Hail Screen Exit in order to do this quicker. This is for one of Seth side quest. This is the Ladies Man side quest. Which you can't miss this one. This is the Yumanzu side quest. This is the Hot Spring side quest. Who wants a man melee? This is from Repeat Snow Morgan. And this is the fusion of the Imperial Knights Captain 
You need an Imperial Knight's cap in order to get this. Level up. 100 more Fatal Strikes than DLC. Alright, so next is going to be Juga. So here we have a nice little Crayon. So, for the story, at least for the stories. So, you get a costume from the story. This is from doing the Heliorc. Event. It's gonna come back later. You get this one by doing 1,000 fatal strikes. And then going to me or so. And this requires you to get the Silver Dragon Rider out, uh, high first. Also in me or so. This is the Wayer side quest. This is the Yamantus or, uh, May have caught a side quest with the uh, poker mini game. This is from the recipes. It's the hot springs at Yamantu. This is from spending 250,000 or more tips at the price of at May of Kabaga. Who went to May of Melee Isle? You go to me or so, after clearing Salge and do the Dragon Race minigame. This is from the, uh, um, swimsuit side quest at Yormkin. And like your man Melee Hyle. This is from combining you need the guardian of the truth pile to get this one this is repeat snow morgan this is also from oh you get this one by combining three different piles you also get this one by combining piles Actually, no, this is from, uh, Yaman 2. This is by combining three different piles, apparently. And this is by combining two piles. Level ups, 100 plus fatal strikes, and then you have DLC. And next, we have Patty. Two more to go, and then we are done with this video. So... These are all Hiles. This one, you can miss. If you cannot talk to her in Jorgen's past, when you first arrived at, uh, Jorgen, the first time you arrived at Jorgen, then you will miss this eye. Why is this missable? I have no idea. This is from the swimsuit side quest at Jorgen. From repeat Snow Morgan. This is from Hunter Melee. This is from doing, uh, Amazing Stuff side quest. You have to have Patty... 
master three recipes, cook at least 600 times or something like that, go to North Apollica, you'll activate cutscene fair, and then you go to Sophia's, the bar fair, I believe you get this fair. This no high hole you get for seeing all of the an uh, summon animations for her mystic art. I'm gonna go to North Dakota and talk to someone there. This is from doing the head turner side quest, which involves having to go around the world looking for seagulls and uh, you know, eventually get. This is from Yamanzu. This is by completing Necropolis Nost The Necropolis of Nostalgia. Yeah. It's getting harder and harder and hot. This has been going on for a while. You get this by going to Heliorg after the main Bellius and talking to a couple people. This is for clearing. 200 Mayhem Melee, Master All Recipes, Level Ups, 100 or more Fail Strike, and DLCs. And lastly, we have Flynn. Flynn! Let's wrap this up with Flynn. All earned during the story. This is from Yamanzu. This is from a repeat Snow Morgan. This is from Hunter Man Melee. This is from Yamanzu. Oh, never mind. This one is from, uh, the swimsuit side quest in Yorkin. This is from Drake side quest, so you can't miss this. You get this one by going back. You get this the same way you get Yuri's. Go back to Sophia's, uh. After being the game, you get this by going to Sophia's. Beat Hunch Man Melee. When Flynn joins you in Yorkin, go to Man Pink and you'll get this. When Flynn joins you, but before you go to Salge, go to Gongress's Inn. This is from the recipes. Level up, 100 or more fail strikes. And lastly, DLC. And that will wrap up the 100% file video. The abilities and skills I will do in their own video for each character. So whenever I get around to doing all of this, if it's in its own video, I will also show off all of these. Because some of these are gonna need me so off like Dragon Buster. So that is a wrap everything up, I do believe. So hopefully this has been a uh, helpful video. Well it might not have helped that much. But maybe it will, maybe it won't. I could probably list what is actually missable in the video description. But hey, at least if you're wondering what exactly you're missing, you can look for the video that might help you out. Until next time, everyone. Whatever that may be.